when I first got into kayak fishing, I was what one might call a bait chunker, a bait thrower, a cheater. <laughs> you know, I got so many names for them. But, help me catch fish, help me get into kayak fishing. Well, most kayaks unfortunately don't come with a bait tank or a live welder, whatever you want to call it. So, I took it upon myself to build one. This is made from a Plano tackle box. The box itself is a Plano tree box. The bubble box is Academy brand, but there are many different brands that you can choose from. Around the hole that I drilled to secure the bubble box, I placed plastic JB weld in order to make sure that the hole would be airtight and not allow water to escape. I managed to run the aerator tube through a hole that I drilled in the bottom, just wide enough for the tube to squeeze through. This allows fresh air to get into the bait box. This box fits very conveniently in the milk crate that I put behind the seat of my kayak. It has proved to be effective in keeping minnows, croakers, and shrimp alive for extended periods of time. The only thing missing from the bait box was a fresh coat of paint. I decided to go ahead and use a technique I used to use on airsoft rifles and give it a netting design, which would make it look like a redfish by the end of the paint job. And now, with this fresh coat of paint, bait box is ready to rock and roll. So as you can see, this bait box is very effective. It cost me less than $25 to make, and to be honest with you, it's been a very fun tool to use, both in kayak fishing and for bait transportation. When I and my father go fishing in his big boat, if I'm asked to pick up bait early in the morning, be it minnows or losh, as we call them down here, croakers or live shrimp, I'm able to transport them safely and effectively in this little thing. And it keeps my bait going for a long period of time. I've never had bait kills. I've never had any issue keeping bait alive in this thing. So, it honestly, it just works. That's the only way I can put it to you. I'm sorry to be stuttering like this, but there's no, there's no real way to put it. It works. It's cheap, it's effective, and it will help you put fish in your kayak. 